a seeded. It is a seeded quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you gotta kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Well, 2023 is in the books. Can you believe this year has come? and gone. And man, what a year this was for me, a great transition from my profession to doing something completely different. I didn't have the time that I would like to have done as much digging as I would because of my job, but uh, hey, that's the way life is. I had a great time though, getting out when I could and finding a lot of great treasures. And I want to thank you for coming along the journey with me, all your support, all your encouragement, all your likes, everything. That means a whole lot to me, and I appreciate that very much. All the subscribers, I appreciate you subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you really like it. It really helped my channel to really grow. And I'm looking forward to 2024 and what's in store uh, for this year. What finds what I might find. Who knows? Uh, just no telling where I'm going to go, who I'm going to meet, what I'm going to do, you know? And uh, so at the beginning of this year, I wanted to kind of go back over 2023 and kind of show you what I think are my top 10 finds. Maybe you think my top 10 may be in a different order. Let me know. But these are what to me are my top 10 finds. So I hope you enjoy this first episode of 2024. Looking forward to many more to come. And like I always say, don't ever forget that the greatest treasures that you can find are not the treasures you can go and dig out of the earth. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Look at that, 91, 92. It's six inches deep. Hunter's yelling at me. What is it? He's digging a big 90 something signal, but we think it may be iron. What was it? A nail. A nail. Yeah. I'll let him have the nails. All right, let's live dig this. And let's see what this is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be a clad quarter, but it's blowing my ears off. It said six inches, so more likely four inches. Roots in here. Man, maybe it's silver. Oh, all these roots. Let's see. Let's. It's right there. Come on, folks. Let's hope for silver. Well, whatever it is, check that out. Look at that. That's going to be a, one of those palm olive tokens, I bet. I'll take a big token. Check that out. I don't know. It's too thick to be a token. Wow, what is this thing? Let me do some cleaning up on it. And uh, I'll get back with you. I thought it was going to hopefully be silver, but I'll take a... Well, is it silver? It's it's going to be a local token at that. Well, kind of regional token. Tyler Courier Times and Morning Telegraph. Telegraph? Is that it? Yeah. Ty this is going to be kind of... Tyler? Yeah. Probably going to say Rose City. I don't think we, I don't think we work around the... Line, check that right. out guys yeah check that out guys that's awesome i'm gonna keep trying to clean it up and for the wrap up i'll get all this writing on the edge you can see it's thick brass token this probably dates back a ways all right let's get a picture and let's keep on going nice little for 
token for a beautiful home that we're digging in today. All right, let's get a picture. Keep on swinging. Getting an 84 to an 86. It was real kind of, I don't know, really wasn't a great tone, uh, but uh, popped it up and how something gold came out. Check this out. There it is right there. Maybe a, a token. Some type of token. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Oh, it's in great shape. Jefferson, Texas. J.B. Whelan. It's going to be good for 10 cents. Oh, man, I kissed it. Oh, let's get the holy water out. And let's see what this is going to be. Good for 10 cents in merchandise. Now, I love these tokens. J.B. Whelan, Jefferson, Texas. We'll have to look that up. See if we can find any information, history on this. All right, just right out here beside the the stands. Ringing up an 84, 86. All right, let's get a picture and see if there's another one out here. Get a little better shot of it all cleaned up. Man, that is the best shaped aluminum token I have ever dug. I don't know how old this is. I would think probably in the 30s. But it is definitely, I just wish I didn't kiss it. It's got some eating up spot right there. I may not have kissed it. It may have been hit before. Uh, but that looks like a fresh hit. I think I kissed it. And I love these old tokens. Hopefully there's going to be some history on J.B. Whelan. 10 cents in merchandise. So it's going to be a general store or something. Look at that. It's on the line. It's a tight signal. 83 to 97. It's showing to be about 8 inches down. So I'm going to live dig this. I'm going to hand this over to, to uh, Hunter. And maybe we won't jinx it. A silver quarter would be good right here, wouldn't it? It would be great. Probably. No, it's a ring. It's a ring. Look at that. Right there. Oh, it's a big one, too. A live dug a big ring. I saw the hoop of that thing before. Check that out. It's got diamonds in it, too. Woo! Wow. Look at that thing. Look at that. Woo. That is awesome. That is awesome. Woo. How in the world that fat boy got missed? I don't know, but I'm glad I live dug it. There you go. There's still stuff out here, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Steal stuff out here. That's beautiful. Well, let's clean it up and let's uh, see what it's going to be. Ready. I don't have any holy water. Well, that's a big silver ring, though. Sterling or it's old. Wow. There it is right there. 925. Okay. So it's gonna be 1973 and earlier older. Yeah. Look at that thing. Are all the diamonds intact? I have a diamond tester, I'll test it later. That thing near about fit me. It will fit me. Check that out. Yeah. Wow. That'll fit me. Now, there we go, boys. I'm going to check those diamonds when I get home and see if they're going to be real. I doubt it. Being not, if it says sterling, 
with diamonds it could be because old settings were a diamond some of them but being 925 i doubt that but they're just cz's well that's a pretty ring though let's keep swinging and see what else we can get you guys are not going to believe this i was getting a real scratchy anywhere from a 74 up to a 91 and uh, dug down about eight inches, popped up the last little piece, and in the bottom of the hole, I saw silver. Bayou Diggs just pulled up. I'm gonna wait for him, him to get over here, and we're gonna reveal this together, see so what it is. It looks like a half dollar. I thought it was gonna be like a quarter, but it's gonna be a half. There it is, guys. Right there, what is it gonna be? Oh, boy. It's gonna be a half dollar for sure. Check that out. What's it gonna be? That's gonna be the back, I see the eagle. It's gonna be it's a, a walking walker. liberty. A walking liberty. <laughs> Let's see what year that's. Oh, look gonna, at the detail. What year is that gonna be? Forty-five. Nineteen forty-five. Sure enough. Oh, it's in good shape. Not too far from where I found that nineteen nineteen. We know love bugs are everywhere. <laughs> well, Check they love that you. out. Oh, beautiful coin. In good shape too. Good shape. Give me five. <laughs> oh, give me five. I didn't know what you were doing. Well, I'll take the coin. <laughs> yeah, take that out, guys. All right. All right, man. That's Let's gorgeous. keep on swinging and see if we can find another one. Oh, beauty. Check that out, guys. That's awesome, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Let's keep on going. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, still working this big old field. There's Nugget Noggin right there. He's up here by me. And, uh, I haven't dug, found anything since that last timbre, but I just came up here and just got an 81 signal on the mana core, and it's a big silver, but it's a milled silver. Check this out. How about that? Looky there. Haven't cleaned it up yet. Don't even know what it is, how old it's going to be. It looks like a King William III, so this could be from 1690 to 17-something. I don't know if it may be a one florin. I'll take that. Let's clean it up and see what we can, see what this is gonna be. Come on, water. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's gonna be be a good one. Yeah. I don't know the I have to look the him up. There you go guys. I want to say it's going to be, yeah, there's, I think it's going to say William. I can't keep it in focus. I don't know. It's old. It's going to be definitely be uh, late 1600s, early 1700s. I'll uh, get the exact date here in a minute. Let me uh, get my app out. Let me see what this is going to be. Well, it definitely is going to be a King William III. I don't know if it's going to be a shilling or a half crown. It may be a half crown. And the date on there, there it's on the top. You can't see it. But it's 16-something. So it's going to be 1695 to 1699. One of those uh, one of those dates. Man, I never dug one of those. Check that out. That is awesome, isn't it? All right. Let's keep looking around in here and see what we can find. 46 to a 37, 37, 46, jumping all around. I actually hit this a while ago when I first got into this swim area and I couldn't get it up because the bottom of this swim area is just really hard to, to scoop off of. It's uh, got a lot of shell on it and I just passed it. So I went down and dug all this other stuff and came back and I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one. Now, I just saw a glimmer. I don't even know what it is yet. So let's look in the scoop together. This could be gold, folks. This could be gold. This could be gold. Check that out. That was ringing up like gold. It looks like gold. 
let's uh let's see if we can get a good look up on the uh yeah 14k 14k folks look at that all right man that's awesome right there i'm gonna swing around here and see if there's not a chain out here as well now that just made my day 14k woohoo let's keep swinging you know half the time that i find a necklace part the pendant part of a of a necklace i never find the chain very rarely do i find the chain but check out what's in that scoop right there i was getting i don't even know a signal because the water's so murky i can't see my numbers but that i can tell you right now is the gold chain that that uh, necklace was on so let's see if we can't get us a, a marking there yeah i think that's going to be 14k all right a gold chain check that out i found the chain that that uh, pendant went on well this has been a good swim area that's why it pays to get out early be the first one on the water the day after uh independence day because there's always a lot of stuff out here so let's keep looking let's see what else we can get well, i was getting a 51 52 and i think it's going to be a hammered silver let me clean it up and we'll get a better picture of it first hammered silver with the mana core there's the king right right there you can see him and it's a long cross it could be king edward the first which is going to put this around 1270 to 13 early 1300s but it could be a henry which would be in the 1400s i think but hey i'll take that rang up a 50 51 on the mana core rang up what did you say seth the 18 on the knox 18 on the knox and a 60 something on the at pro i'll take that all day long yeah preacher digger got hammered check that out i love it i love it yeah i think just about everybody out here in this field behind me has got a hammered out here just just about a lot of us but check that out right there he got a knot we got some romans out of here an axe head out of here and some other stuff so i'll take that let's uh keep on going and see if we can get it. my first one with the manicorn excited about that and i'm getting a 29 to a 31 here and so let's uh Let's see if we can get us a silver quarter here. I've already dug one piece of trash out of here, so it could be just trash. Let's see what this is gonna be. Okay, still in the, still in the hole a little deeper. That's a good sign. Yep. I feel it, but it's not a coin. Surely that's not ringing up. That's something else. That's a, a nail. All right, maybe it's over here. Oh my goodness, do y'all see that? Do you see that? Hunter, that's not going to be a quarter. That is going to be a half dollar. Oh my goodness. Surely, is that a coin or is that a token? What is that? I see an eagle flying up. That's a half dollar. Oh my goodness. Hunter, come here. I don't believe that. And I dug it live, dug it too. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's time to break out the holy water. Are you serious? It was a 28. It was a 28 29. Is that a. Uh... And, a, and a, 
the had a big old nail in the hole with it and so I dug the nail out over here and I reached back in there and popped it out and that's what I got right there I don't know I don't know I uh, I was waiting for you to get over here so I got the holy water out all right that's gonna be a that's a barber that's a barber hat That is a barber half. I guarantee it's a barber half. There oh, it is right there. Oh my gosh. A 1908, I'm out of water. Barber half, check that out. Now you're like, I wish I wouldn't invite a preacher digger to my, let's get in the sun. I gave you the wrong half of the yard to start in. Check that out guys. <laughs> That's unreal. That is unreal. So you could hear the high tone? Oh yeah, it clearest day. Jumping. Clearest day. It was a high tone. <clears throat> Let me look, wipe it off here for you guys. Look, look how old these coins are coming out of this. Time. 19, what is that? 1906. 1906 Barber Half. And it was a live dig. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a quarter. Oh, congrats, man. That is awesome. There may be more out here, so let's keep swinging here. Let's get a picture. I'm a 45 here. About chest deep water. Oh my goodness. I don't see a clasp is kind of messed up. I don't see a marking on it, but I guarantee you that's gold. Look how big that is. That's got to be at least a, a 30 inch chain. I bet that weighs a, an ounce or more. <laughs> got my gold. I'm trying to keep it down because I got some people behind me. Man, that is unreal. Check that out. Check that out. Man, that's that's gotta be if that's 14k and that's over an ounce, that's a lot, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Ooh, my day's been made. It's been a good morning so far. We've only been out here a little over an hour. Alright, let's keep looking. Maybe there's some more out here. Woohoo! Check that out. 89, 88, 8 inches deep. It's fooled me before. Let's hope this is going to be a silver. A silver quarter. It could be a silver dime. But last time, it was a penny. And these wheats have been ringing up weird. Benjamin just dug that barber right over there, and it rang up on my detectors a 75. That's a penny. So, it's kind of hard to tell in here. Hopefully, this is going to be silver. Thought it was deeper than that. Could be a nail. Oh no, there it is. That is silver. There is silver. Oh, it's gonna be a barber. A silver barber quarter. Look at that. Coming in behind Benjamin. Check that out. Live dug. I'll let Benjamin get here. That's a barber quarter, dude. That's a barber quarter. Yes. Yes. Check that out. And I kissed it too, didn't I? Yeah. 1905. Ooh, that's the year the house was built. 
the year the house was built. Check that out. 1905. I don't see a mint mark. I know you guys are going to get me for rubbing that. I can't tell if it's got a mint mark. Get it in focus. I don't think so. 1905. I'm on the board. Check that out. Check this out, guys. 94, 95, 92, 8 inches deep on the conductive line. Let's get where you can see it. That glare is so bad. Here we go. What do y'all think? Is it going to be a silver? It's going to be right on the edge of the sidewalk. Right on the very edge. We've moved on down to this old house here. I'm right beside the steps, right on the sidewalk edge. Still showing something down in there. It's probably the concrete I'm picking up. No, it's, no, there it is right there. There it is right there. It's going to be another silver quarter. It's another silver quarter. And it's going to be, what do y'all think it's going to be? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. I think it's going to be a Washington. Yeah. It's going to be a Washington quarter. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, there he is. There's old George. 19. Let me uh, get this thing cleaned up and I'll show you a better picture. Yeah, it's going to be a 1951 Washington Quarter. Hey, I'll take a silver Washington Quarter. I'd rather have a barber or a seated, but I'll take Washington. He'll make, he'll make me happy too. All right, that's two. There she is. Is she going to be seated? Is she going to be barber? Is she going to be Washington? It's an SLQ! It's an SLQ! I've got a quarter trifecta today! <laughs> a quarter trifecta! Check that out! Now I need a quadfecta. I need to seat it out here. Oh, let's clean it up. See if there's going to be a date on this. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, 1927. 1927 SLQ. I don't believe it. This is just crazy, man. I've never in my life dug a, a trifecta of quarters. Dimes, yes. Nickels, yes. Pennies, yes. Never quarters, though. Man. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to put all three of them out. Let's look at, look at all three of them together. Check that out. A trifecta of quarters. Now, since I'm out here in the fields it's, it's possible that I can get a seated all right check that out that is just unbelievable unbelievable I'm so excited all right let's go for the quad now